So d1 state, d2 state, and d3 is date. So what I'm gonna do is d1 equal now, and now is a function that returns the date at time. Okay, d2 equal date is a function that returns uh, only. Now the date, okay. And d three equal now dot time. Ouch. Sorry for the mistake. equal for example something like that you can put date or something like that dimension d4 I'm really forgetting these variables sorry about that guys d4 equal well 2009 for example okay so here we are getting the date and time at the same time. Okay, in one shot. This one we're going to be getting the date along. This one we are following the time and the month and so on. So what do we get? MSG box D1, MSG box, G box D2. Ouch. MSG box D3, MSG box D4. Okay, so we run the application again. Okay, so let's try the date. If you like, press this one. Okay, you can see here this is the date and this is the time. You can see here this is the date. You can see that this is the time. I have the date along. So um, uh, this data type is used to store uh, date information. Okay, I will get into more how to deal with that. There are special controls for that. Okay, uh, one last important variable is the Boolean. Okay, and Boolean is used for logical expression that evaluates into true or false dimension b1 as boolean dimension b2 as boolean dimension b3 as boolean okay so b1 equal let's say true okay b2 equal false b3 equal 88 is greater than 10 Okay, since 88 is really good, I think this one value will be true. And let me add more statement. B4 as boolean. So B4 equal. Mm, well, this might surprise you a little bit. Smith is greater than John. Okay, hypothetically. It, it means that Smith um, comes after John. Okay, so now let's display the result. MSQ box B1 is and B1 MSQ box B2 is and B2 MSQ box for the third one 88 greater of. 10 is and B3 MSG box Smith comes after John is and B4 okay so now let's run the application and see 
this one in the center that's the boolean b1 is true okay we already stored the value true to b1 and b2 is false we stored value false now 88 greater than 10 so this evaluates to true and Smith comes after John this one is true okay you can see the code right here so in order just to, to make sure it's correct uh, correct we can flip things around let's say I will put an A right here so a name if it starts with A it will be alphabetically before John and this one expressed in computers like this is smaller but I want it to be false so I'm gonna put the bar uh, this one like uh, here and of course when I display the message I should correct this one as well because otherwise it will be some kind of inconsistent this has been that your program would be wrong but logically it will give a uh, wrong answer okay so let's run the application let's see what happens about spare uh, smith you can see it ate then no problem then Smith comes after John A Smith and this one is false because the A is always before the J okay so those are the very basic types of visual basic okay and by the way those are not only the data type uh, are not the only data type there are other data types but those are the very basic ones uh, and I'm gonna write them again okay uh, let me define them here v1 as byte okay dimension v2 as integer dimension v3 as single dimension v4 as double dimension v5 as uh, long those are the very basic data types. Oh, and I forgot about this one, dimension V6, as string, dimension V7, as date, and dimension V8, as boolean. And of course, there are more data types, like the char and stuff like that. But uh, if you remember these, those are the very important ones. Okay, uh, one last note about variables. Uh, what happens when you define a variable here inside inside the event handler and what happens when you define a variable here before all the event handlers? Uh, the variables right here are called local variables and by local only the the state the local statement the statements that within this event handler only will know about them the, uh, outside the borders of the of this handler they will not be known okay uh, the same here for example as one is two and this three is only known in this area okay it cannot be known in here no one will recognize them okay and you will get an error if you try to to work with this one is two and this three but if you define variables in here it will be known to all to all those event handlers okay those are usually called the public variables okay there will be more details into that later but for example for now you must understand that variables in here will be accessed by all event handlers in uh, here okay and the variables defined in those small parts of called local and can be only accessed here okay so you can have a variable a here and you can have a variable a here as well but each one of these will be independent and will not get affected at all okay so uh, this is all about variables for today uh, next tutorial we'll start uh, understanding a little bit about collections and uh, we will start building a little bit more uh, interesting applications and see how we can make use of those variables. 
so thank you for listening and I would appreciate it if you sent me any notes or um, suggestions uh, about